Hello everyone. Uh, in this exercise, we will practice what we learned so far in Solid Edge. But to summarize what uh, I did, what I did so far is mainly is uh, I'm publishing the course material for teaching Solid Edge. So the first five labs is the fundamental or the basics, and then the, the second set of five labs, lab from six till will be like more advanced a little bit advanced applications and then from lab 11 till 15 will be really uh, more uh, advanced topics so based on that then we'll see like exercises like this the one we are doing now is more practice on solid edge so if really if you want to take the same course I'm teaching it should be labs from 1 till 15 and uh, then you should be fine and you should learn how to do any you can draw anything anyway this is my promise i i can say that okay now for this lab here we'll practice for today as you can see that if you look at the different projections the front top view and side or right side view the most dimensions are or the details are in the front view so i'm going to start with the front view and as you look carefully that there is a, a, a circles here so I'm gonna put the uh, in the symmetry here and then because of the symmetry I'm gonna put my coordinate axes in the center of these two circles here and then in my protru uh, extrusion I'm gonna try to make it symmetric extrusion so before I start the drawing I need to have a kind of plan in my mind about how I'm gonna approach the things so without further ado so we'll go to solid edge we start with the front view so front view I'm gonna start the first two circles circle by center and the first uh, circle is 80 so I'm gonna put 80 here and I'm gonna put it in the coordinate in the center of the coordinate axis I'm gonna so this is my the first uh, circle now the second one will be uh, 65 in the same center here so now I don't need the coordinate axis anymore so we are done now I want to make sure that just to, to to be to be in the safe side just these two circle here are concentric okay now let's do the other things now we need to do the circle here so I'm gonna say okay a circle by center again and the uh, diameter is 40 I'm gonna put it somewhere here and another diameter is 20 now let's lock the dimensions so this should be the 80 and this should be the 65 and this should be oops, oops sorry the 65 and this should be the 40 and the 20 good now I need to get the other dimensions so I'm gonna say that okay the location from the center of this circle so let me move it up a little bit so you can see it so the dimensions so the dimension also between the two center here so in the in the x direction this should be uh, 60 and the dimension between the, the the same circles but in the vertical direction they should be 40. okay so now we succeeded to put the dimensions here so 60 40 and the two dimension here is fine it looks fine so now let's start the the the, the curves here so what I'm gonna do now is I get a circle tangent or tangent circle and the, the radius of this tangent circle is 14 so it means that diameter is 28 So I'm gonna touch any point here and then it will move with me 
till I what? Till I do what? Till I get this the tangent with this circle here. Here we go. Okay. So now let's the uh, remove the extra. Okay. And what the next step? Then the next step. Let's make the 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 symmetry. We use that symmetry. So I'm gonna use the symmetry here of this part here about what about the x-axis here good okay so now I got this now the the second let me lock also the, the dimension here so I'm going to say uh, circle tangent so I'm going to use this line this curve here is touching this I'm going to lock it okay now so now it is mixing. now I need to draw the curve the 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 the, 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 the curve that connecting between these two circles is tangent. So I'm going to use again a tangent circle. And the tangent, the radius is 130, so it's going to be 260. Enter. And again, we're going to start from any point here somewhere. It's going to move with me and come here till it becomes a tangential to the other circle. So I'm going to click. So this way I get the uh the circle i need or the curve i need actually good now i'm gonna get rid of this one and get rid of this one very good so now let's move it down i need to draw the other thing here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna draw a line first as a construction line in the middle you need to lock it to the middle so i'm gonna put a line here doesn't matter what it is, so I'm going to just consider this is as a construction line. Okay, now I'm going to draw a line parallel to the right and to the side, uh, to the left. Vertical line and another vertical line somewhere here. Sorry. And I'm use the property which is symmetric. I'm gonna click on symmetric around this line. I need this line to be symmetric to this line. So now it is symmetric. Now the distance between both of them is gonna be 20. So I'm gonna measure the distance between this one and this one, and I'm gonna make it 20. Put 20. And good. So now let me continue with the cleaning so I'm gonna get rid of this part here get rid of this part here I don't need actually I don't need the construction line anymore so I'm gonna de just delete then I will delete this one delete this one now I need to, to draw the, the, the thickness of it, so I'm going to use one of them. I'm going to use a line and the thickness from the tip. Oh, from the tip. Okay, let me get the dimensions first. So the distance between from the tip here to the center here is 75. So I'm going to say, okay, give me the dimension between from the tip to the, cent to the center of the circle. And I need it to have it what? 75. Good. So now <coughs> let me make them symmetric. Okay, I deleted the symmetry. So you can see that okay, this is this line so equal. So I'm gonna say okay, this this line should be equal to this line. Good. Now I need to draw the other one. So uh, the, the the other thickness. So I'm gonna go from the tip here. I go horizontal seven and seven and a half, seven point five. Enter. It is horizontal enter enter then I'll go down vertical till it touch here good now if I want to just to repeat it so I can select it I can select this part here and then I can say make a mirror about yeah okay very good so now I got that and then let me clean the stuff in the middle here oops undo 
Okay, I know what happened. See, we didn't lock it here. It's just you, sometimes when you do the mirror, it didn't. It, 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 it. So now let's what we're gonna do. Is just you see this point here, connect. So I'm gonna say okay, connect the table of this one with the circle here. Okay. So now let's clean and clean this one. Very good. Now we are ready to do the extrusion. So I'm going to go to the home. And I'm going to start with this one. So I'm going to say, OK, I can either I can just start with the extrusion right away or I can just use highlight uh, the, 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 the shape here. And do it. so it's a bit I will I will go with extrusion and say face. And this face here, right click. And then, okay, I need it to both symmetry. So I'm going to put symmetry here. And the value is 40. End. Very good. Okay. Now, notice something here. Because I'm using the uh, synchronous, synchronous uh, platform. I will explain later why I prefer the synchronous platform than ordered. But uh, let's right now we are using so the, 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 the sketch disappeared when you do the extrusion. So what I'm going to do is just I need to, to create the sketch back here so I can do the extrusion. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to use the property is the projection property and I'm going to get the, the plane. This is why I put it in the center here, uh, the, uh, the front plane. OK, so I'm going to go to the, 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 the planes. Okay, so where is the plane? Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna click on this one, make it open. So I don't need the top, I don't need the right, I need only the front plane. So I have the front plane here. Okay, just so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna project, I'm gonna say project on the front. You see this one here? I need to lock to this plane. Once I highlight it, I click on the F3, and you should see F3 here in the corner, upper corner here and say okay I, I i made it in a way that i choose either you can choose just offset for a whole shape or uh, or just a loop or whatever so just so in my case i'm going to use this one so sometimes you need a whole thing and something like that okay so i'm going to say okay so now I just i'm going to click on the circle here and then what say okay when i say okay it will be projected automatically in the plane here in the plane in the middle this plane here whatever i selected will be projected in the plane now what i can do is just i'm go, i can hide i will hide the shape so it wouldn't it wouldn't bother me okay i'm gonna go to the design body just uncheck it so this way it will be hidden uh, then i'm gonna clean here so i'm gonna clean this one and clean this one and then the next step is what? Do the extrusion. You want to bring it back? That's fine. I can bring it back or we can leave it. It's up to you. So now, oh, sorry. I don't need the plane anymore. So now I'm going to, where is my design body? Here is my design body. Okay. So now I need to do the other extrusion. So I'm going to say extrusion, extrude. And then the face is going to be this face. And then it's going to be positive. Okay. Add and the symmetry. So I'm going to right click. And okay, it's gonna be the other way. Okay, so now the symmetry and how much this one it should be 12. I'm gonna put 12. Enter. So now I got the shape, so now we almost got the majority. Now I need to do the, the curvature and the surface here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the property round. And let me zoom so I can see it better. So I'm gonna use the property round. And the, 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 the curve here is the radius here will be 20. So I'm going to say, okay, round. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on round and the choose. So when I click on this one here, it's going to, yeah, 20. It's already choose 20. If it's not 20, just to choose 20. And you click on this one to get the other 20. Click on this one, you get the 20. And you click the other one, with 20. Okay. Now if I move it up, now I need to make the hole, and the hole it will be in the center of this curve, the, 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 the half a circle here. So I'm going to say, okay, I need circle by center. The diameter is 20. 
and it should be drawn in this plane here you see this plane here the highlighted one so when I put my mouse on this plane on the edge of this plane it will give you f3 just to click on this f3 so this means that I locked my drawing you should see f3 to the corner here it means any drawing I'm gonna draw it's gonna be in this plane here so now I'm gonna put it where in the circle you see the center of the circle I'm gonna click so now I draw it in the center the center of the the curve or the half a circle so now I need to do the extrusion so I'm going to say extrude and then this time it's going to be extrude what I need negative I'm going to cut so I'm going to be negative cut and I'm going to let me use a chain I'm going to choose this one right click and then it's going to, okay I'm going to choose here through all so it, you can't go this way this is why I give you an error but I need to go the other way so I'm gonna click the other way so and this is how I got the drawing now let me go back to to zoom or fit and I'm done okay I hope that uh, yeah it's so easy and so straightforward and uh, if you practice everything should be perfect okay now uh, as I as I as I mentioned uh, before that this is will be a series of practicing uh, exercises and this is why I call them exercise but the actual laps will be lab from 1 till lab 15 which is the same course I'm teaching in my class uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, if you and uh, I would like to hear your feedback and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel uh, Click the bell and give it a thumb up. Have a wonderful day and looking forward to see you on the other on the coming videos. Uh, bye bye.